guys and welcome back to my channel I cannot believe that I'm sitting here right now about to film my May monthly spread it is so hard to believe that it is already May but like time is going by so super fast I cannot believe it so let's go ahead and get started oh my goodness it is May and as you can see, I have a lot of stickies on May because May is very busy because it is the last month of school. So we just have a lot going on and man, I cannot believe that it is May. So I'm going to go ahead and pull these stickers off. Seems to me it's almost kind of hard to see because of the white background, but we'll just go with it because as soon as I put some color with it, that'll make it better. So I tried to figure out what I wanted the theme for May to be and I couldn't figure out anything. And then it's, I thought, oh, okay, April showers bring May flowers. So I wanted to do May flowers. So I pulled this washi tube off my shelf. I don't think I've used it before. And I definitely wanted to use um, this tube or that uh, roll of washi. And I kind of wanted to use this one, but it's kind of pulling in the pinks and oranges that I didn't want to do. So I think I'm going to just stick with this roll. And then I also pulled um, some more yellows and greens. Um, that could possibly go with this and I will see as I begin to lay more things down so I'm going to start by putting this flower washi down um, and I'm going to put it over here at the top I kind of don't like those gray dots, so I'm trying to cover them up, cover them up as much as I can. Um, but I do love this planner, and for anybody who's thinking about getting it, um, well, I guess they can't get it now. But if you guys at me, my big ideas are thinking, you know, do we need that classic? This is your year, black and white planner then I am definitely a vote yes um, because I love that it doesn't restrict you to any one color and you can pretty much um, plan in any color in any way however you want to every month and I love that um, because when I first started planning it got kind of redundant to me um, and it was pretty tedious having to use the same colors over and over again because that's the colors that matched um, with the spread for that particular week. And sometimes I even find it hard um, when I'm planning in my mini or when I'm planning in the Big Happy Planner that I use for my teacher planner because it's the same exact color. Um, let's see, now that I have that down, I'm going to put some of this green down. Actually, no. Before I do that, I'm going to put this flower down here at the bottom because May ends on a Wednesday. And so then we have the end of the week left. So I'm going to just put a little bit more. And I think for this layout, it's going to cause, call me to use my color story book the most. Why do I keep saying color story? I mean to say rainbow. I think because I love the color story book so much that I want to use it all the time. So that's probably what it is. But I'm going to be using my rainbow book. So I have the big one and I have the classic size. So of course I'll pull from green and yellow in both of these. So I'm just kind of thinking about some stuff that I have going on in May. And I know that May the 25th is the last day of school. And it is also graduation. So I'm going to get actually some alphabet. And I'm going to go to the green to put that it is the last day of school. And 
Um, so in the alphabet book, if you haven't seen it, it is, um, they have a few different colors and they have this font, which kind of looks like Arial on the computer. Then they have this font, which is a little bit thinner. And then this font, which is smaller and a little bit wider. So I'm actually going to use this font here um, because I have three words that I'm going to put down. So I'm going to start putting this down and then I'll fast forward through this video so it won't be like extremely slow um, putting it down. Okay, so I was going to put last day of school, but that was kind of too much. So <laughs> I'm just putting last day and then I was going to look inside of the um, rainbow book to see if there was something. Oh, perfect. Um, something that I could find. And I think I found the perfect sticker. But I just want to check. I did. Okay. So, then here is a sticker that says best day ever. <laughs> That's so horrible of me. But I'm going to put this best day ever here. Okay. So, oh, that's so cute. Okay. Then we have just like a lot of things and a lot of activities going on at school. And so I want to be able to note them plus birthdays and things like that. So one thing that we have always the last week of school is culture fair. And so I'm going to put a big to do sticker here on the 22nd. And I think I'm going to cut the sticker because it's a little bit too big and I don't necessarily need the to-do. So I'm going to cut along this top grid that I see. And then put it down and then I will follow up. It's a little bit crooked. And then I'm going to follow up with a green sticker right there. And I know that um, I can cover up the dates. Um, I just don't want to. <laughs> so, um, let's see. So, I found this green noted. And so, I'm going to put this right there at the top <clears throat> and I'll write that culture fair is that day okay then I want to find a very good quote um, just because I feel like I need some motivation to push me through um, the rest of the year so I'm looking in the quotes book Trying to see if I can find something that is green or yellow. I found one. I'll pull it over here so you guys can kind of see a little bit. Um, so I found this positive mind, positive vibes, positive life one. And that would be good at reminding me to continue to be positive as we finish up the year. And let's see. I can choose to let it define me, confine me, refine me, or, or outshine me. Or I can choose to move on and leave it behind me. That's cute. Kind of not what I'm doing right now, though. Happy day. Let it all go. See what stays. It's not what you do. It's who you are becoming. These are all green ones or yellow ones that I see. I find the harder I work, the more luck I seem to have. I don't know about that. Sometimes, sometimes. Let me check one more book, and that is the Faith book. To see what they have. Because sometimes, even though this is the faith book 
when nothing is sure, everything is possible. I love that. And I think that might be what I'm going to use. I'm pretty sure that's the one I'm going to use. And my stickers are like slowly coming out. And now I see why. Look at that. People have been tying um, through the holes at the top. But I know I've said this before, and I'm going to continue to say it. I've got to put my sticker books together. I already have the supplies. I just have not done it. So I think that once things slow down a little bit, then I will be able to put them together. And when I say slow down, I'm pretty much thinking that whenever my finals are done, then I'll actually have like a little bit of time to actually do something. Okay, so... This says, when nothing is sure, everything is possible. And I'm going to put this over here in the corner. So it kind of blocks off the seventh. But it's still there and visible. I love it. Then I want to come with something yellow underneath. And I'm going to go from the big rainbow book. And I'm going to put to do in yellow. Let's scoot it up a little bit so it doesn't cover the 14. I'm going to put to do in yellow so that I can write some things there. And I'm going to come back with some stars, some yellow stars. I just have to figure out what, um, where they are because I don't think they're in either one of these books. I'm going to have to go to my other sheets. Okay, then I want to go to the seasonal book and grab, oh, I hope it's the seasonal, no, it's the purple book. This one, the 1829 and grab a holiday and this is probably not the one I want nope because those are black and I want to use gold so I know that gold holidays are also in my teacher book so let me grab that one and I'm pretty sure they're in another book I just don't know which one and I can't think of it off the top of my head. Oh, the mom book. I came to this one before I came to the teacher book. So, the mom book. And guys, I'm going to just tell you all. I have been to three, yeah, three different Joann's and called two Joann's to get my hand on that new um, book of dates and holidays and I have not been able to find it and everybody says they are not in stock so hopefully I can get my hands on that soon and then Memorial Day is on the 29th so I'm going to put that First, I'm going to white it out because I don't need it. Okay. I'm also going to write out Mother's Day here. And on this Memorial Day, I'm going to kind of put it up and over so that it's kind of even taking up some of my culture fair space, which is fine. Um, because I have birthdays on the 29th or a birthday on the 29th so I want to be able to put that right there um, let's see now I'm gonna get my bullet stickers and I think I'm going to use this sheet because they look like little flowers I guess 
and put some things down. So I guess I will do birthdays in green. So I'm going to fast forward through this part while I put these down for the different birthdays that I have going on in May. Alright, so I got the birthdays down. Then I need to put a couple of boxes. So May the 11th, um, my students actually graduate from college. So I work at an early college and our students get their associates and their high school diploma. Um, so graduation is on May the 11th. So I want to put a box there for graduation. So I'm picking a green box because I used the yellow box over here. And I'm going to cut this one also. And put this down for graduation. And then their actual high school graduation is on the 25th. And so since I covered that up, um, because it's the last day of school, I'm going to go and try to find another green box, but maybe a different color green <clears throat> to put right there. So I'm looking in my various books now to see what I have. Um, I just looked in this 1486 book, didn't see anything. I looked again in this 1829 book. I'm going to look now in my productivity book um, to see if I have anything that can go right there. Oh, this is a cute one. It says the goal. And I think that's perfect because of course their goal is to get their associates so I'm going to put that there and then see if I can find a cute box for CVC or their actual high school graduation so it's crazy because they get their associates before their high school graduation and of course it has to come in the mail or in or whatever but you know they walk on that day I don't see anything in here that I want to use so let's see what else Now I'm in this one, two, three, four book. They have cute stuff in here. Y'all, I'm like so in love with all of these books. So let's see. This one doesn't really have boxes. Not like that. Okay. Check out this color story. And I'm really looking at color story now. I don't really see anything, but I'm gonna flip through. Okay, so I don't see anything, so I'm gonna go back to my traditional. And um, I'm gonna go to the big rainbow book, and hopefully the big rainbow book has these arrows like I see. Y'all see my book stacked over here. I need to get my life together. Has the arrows like I see in the small book. If not, then I'll use the arrows in the small book. Oh yeah, it has one. So I'm going to use this arrow here. Let me see if I can raise this best day ever up. 
kind of ripped my paper a little bit, but it's okay. Because it's covered right back up. And I'm going to put that graduation is on that day. So I'm so excited for them on that one. Okay. Then in the next box, I'm going to put a yellow reminder because even though this is the last day for the kids, um, technically our last day is not until the following Friday as the teachers. So I'm going to put a yellow um, sticker right here because we don't have any school here. So I'm going to put a... today sticker and under this today sticker I will write that there is no school so there will be no school on the 26th and no school on the 29th so we get oh you know what I'll leave that there but I will also take my yellow washi And with my yellow washi, I'm going to go from Friday the 26th through Monday the 29th because um, we can't, we have a four-day weekend. So I'm going to lift that up. Put this down. And this is yellow striped washi, so it's cute. So then I'm also going to put, I have green washi um, thin green washi and I'm going to put that on the second third and fourth because that is state testing at my school and then on those days I'm going to put yellow stars for things that are going on at school so I'm going to put it down at the bottom because it's not a birthday and after I put these stars down, then I'm pretty much going to be done um, with the decorating part. Then I need to go back in and do some writing. Um, so I'm going to um, go back in, write. And so the next part of the video that you will see after this, I will show you the things that I have written down so that you can see my completed um, May. So I'll be back in a bit. Okay, so I've got everything written down um, except for my to-do list. I um, don't know what I'm going to put there. Probably the things that I want to try to get done um, by the end of the month. So yeah, this is it. It looks good. I did think of one thing that I forgot to put on the 13th, so I'll add that. But hey, this is May. It's kind of busy, but I'm glad that the school year is over and it's almost summer vacation. So Okay guys, thanks so much for watching and I will see you again soon. Bye.